So now I need to make that hole on this part as well. So let's return out of this part and go into this part. I don't really know where I want that hole yet, um, but I'm just going to do an arbitrary um, location. I can always modify these distances and dimensions later on. So I'm going to go ahead and add a hole. Actually, first before I do that, I want to make sure that my parameters are being linked to that Excel sheet. I don't think it is, no. So I want to link that sheet. And I should have those parameters exposed to this part as well. And really that's the convenience of using the Excel sheet, is you can take that Excel sheet and you can use it with any part in your assembly, or actually any part in any part in, of any assembly uh, so you could es essentially have um, parameters that you use for all of your assemblies in one spreadsheet and you can have another spreadsheet because you can link as many spreadsheets as you want in this uh, parameters dialog box and expose those parameters. So press OK. Mm -hmm. Now I have those available. I'm going to go on the back of this because it's a little bit easier to see. Place a hole somewhere not sure really where I want it yet, but I know that I want it somewhere away from the edge. And you notice that I just clicked on this line without click on the, clicking on the reference. Because I can actually, um, if I don't make any modifications to anything before that, I can go ahead and just click on the line. I can pick what I need. And you can also see that it, it uses, it shows you um, previously used uh, um, formulas and, and selections that you've made. Um, that one's not there, so I want to go ahead and fasten a distance from edge. That's the correct value. And from this edge, not really sure yet, but I'm just going to keep it the way it is. I don't know where I need it to, to be placed yet. And then I'm going to use the through all. And uh, click OK or accept that. So now I have a hole that I can use for this part. Now that I have this hole, I can use this in a constraint. So you can see that it's I can move this around, but I want this to be constrained by this hole, these two holes that I've that were created. So I'm gonna move this out a little bit here so I can see both holes. And I'm gonna constrain this hole with this hole here. And press OK. But you'll also notice that you'll be able to rotate it, which is what you want, because we don't have the other hole. We want to... Um, this is how it would function in the real world, so we know that we need another, another hole on the other side to make it stable. So we'll, we'll do that now. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, repair this distance from the edge because I haven't done that yet. So I'm just going to modify this cross L hole that I made and click on this little icon that appears. And then I'm going to take this dimension here. And I'm going to find the faster distance from edge. And I, I'm going to accept that. So now that's repaired. Every time I change a faster distance in the Excel sheet, this will be modified as well. I'm, I'll show you that now. So if I want to change the faster distance from edge, maybe it's a little bit too small and I want it to be a little bit farther away. I'll go 0.7 and save it. And now I need to update these files. So I press the update and you'll notice that it changed. 
and it didn't affect our let me go back to the assembly it didn't affect our constraints because we're still being constrained on the hole that we created okay I'm gonna go ahead and add another cross cell hole here using the techniques that I've just used now that we have the the Excel sheet, we can go ahead and put them in pretty easily. So I'm going to go into this part, click on hole. Okay, it's at 0.25. I'm going to change this to 0.43. And first reference will be the distance from the edge. And this one would be, we can see that it's actually still here, so we can use that. And we're done with that. We have through, hall, through all, so that makes sense. Press OK. Now we need to do the intersecting hole. Once you have your Excel sheet, established everything goes pretty quickly 0.25 for the diameter first reference should be available to us immediately yeah and then this one will be the thickness divided by two which actually is also available to us click OK oh I forgot to tell it not to go through all of it I want it to go to the cross dial hole only. Then we're going to go to this part here and make another hole. And we'll notice that um, we don't have this distance as a, as a parameter that we'll be able to figure out pretty easily. So it's good to name this parameter. So I'm going to go into the parameters and should be one of the later ones that I've created so it should be D7 and let's say top mount from top let's just call it that I'm sure there's probably a better name that I could have chosen but that'll work for now and if we go into this, we should be able to see that as the the name for it. Yeah. Let's take a look at this one. No. Okay. So that stayed the same. We do the same thing to the other hole here. So let's click on the hole command. Position the hole somewhere arbitrarily. Go on the right hand side. We're going to do the distance from edge. And then we're going to, this one will be the top amount distance from top. So press OK. And then now we can constrain both of these two holes. You can see that it still moves. So let's go ahead and constrain these two holes together. So we're going to use the constrain button and we're going to use the the mate constraints. We're going to mate these two hole centers together. Press OK. So now these are fastened. You, they won't be able to move. This one doesn't move because it's grounded. And if I go, if I press the right button here you'll see that it's grounded. That means it won't won't move. It will. It is set in place. If I uncheck that, you'll be able to move the whole thing. And it's better to keep one of the components grounded, so it doesn't start to go crazy and and um, uh, rotate on you um, away from uh, its natural sort of origin space. 